What is up guys, Jarv here and we're back again with some Destiny 2. Now today's video we're taking a look at the Drifter's Secret Bank. Now this bank is located in the tower, so we're going to be looking at where you can find this space in the annex and how you can actually get a really close and personal view as you can see from the footage playing now. So if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a rating, that super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more D2 content moving forward, then be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. But without further delay, let's jump in. So as I said in the intro, this new space is over in the annex. If you head over to the right hand side instead of going up the main stairs, if you head up these stairs instead, and then behind the gate and boxes, you can see the moat bank. So this is the Drifter's secret bank. So make note of that and the red handrails as well. And we're going to look at seeing how you can get into this space. Now we have seen this space before. This was in the Road Ahead Vidoc, which Bungie released as part of the annual pass reveal back towards the end of Forsaken. So as you can see here, the bank is actually active and the hunter walks past. And this is a view from actually inside the room. So this is what we're going to be looking at today. So how you can get a really close upper personal look of the inside of this room, which is likely to be the new vendor space for the Drifter when Joker's Wild launches. So we're going to look at how you can get into this space. So to do this, you need to complete the Floor is Lava challenge. If you head onto one of the balconies in the courtyard, you can initiate this challenge. Now what you'll need to now do is use the railings and boxes to navigate your way towards the light beacon. And when you get to the end, you will then get a buff, which is called Quickness. Now this particular buff gives you an increase in movement speed, but more importantly, it gives you a massive increase in jump height, which is what we're gonna need to be able to jump outside the map to get towards this space. So as you can see now, I've got the Quickness buff, as you can see on the left-hand side, and we're gonna head over towards Ikora and Hawthorne because this is where we're going to be getting out of the map. Now, some glitches were shown earlier in the year. This is when we were looking at the Ada space, where Ada is now located with the frames. So we're going to be heading towards that direction, but going in a slightly different area where we can actually get inside the Drifter's Bank Room. So what you want to do here is jump up. Now, there is an invisible wall here, as you can see. Now, if you head back to the left and jump, you will be able to get past that barrier. So once you manage to navigate your way past these boxes, you want to jump over and head on to the roof of the inside of the annex, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So you want to jump over here and you want to basically drop down and this will now initiate the spawning in of the annex itself. There we go. So from here, we want to jump back up and this will get us on top again. So we're now sort of on top of the room that leads towards Ada. So we need to head to the right hand side. So if you want to drop down here and look over there. So that is the room with the bank. So we need to jump over. You can just jump straight over. There's no death barriers or anything. And if you look through the roof, you can actually see the bank. So it spawns in and out. Now we can get a closer look. There are two areas that you can actually drop down. So they are on the edges of these squares. So if you drop down just here, you'll slide between the wall and boom, we are in the bank room. So here we get a really close look at the bank itself and the rest of the surroundings in this area. So as we can see, the bank itself isn't active at the moment, obviously, but this is likely gonna be the new space for where the Drifter is gonna be housed when Joker's Wild launches towards the beginning of March. Now, what we don't know is why the Drifter has a moat bank and effectively is collecting darkness inside the tower. I'm sure we'll find out more as part of the quests which will become available when Joker's Wild eventually hits us. So this week we see the launch of Niobe Labs. That's going to be from Reset. So I'll be covering that off for you guys as much as I can from Tuesday onwards. And later today we'll have Zer as well. So I'll be covering him via a community post as always. But definitely give this one a try guys. It's definitely really intriguing to try and get inside this room and have a really close look of some of the content that we'll be eventually getting our hands on later in the year so that's going to wrap it up for today guys if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a rating on this video it super helps me out on the channel and if you are new to the channel and want to see more destiny content moving forward then be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out as well i'm gonna let this one play out for you guys and i will catch you again very soon peace out